Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Perospera. And uh, I'm recording this right before the official public release. So by the time you guys see this, it will have been released for days probably. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I have some awesome news in this, which you know most of you guys probably know already, but, and I don't wanna be, I, I'm not, I just wanna, I wanna preface this by saying that I don't wanna like formally take credit for this because it's not my doing and it's most likely not I'm not the only one that asked for these things all right but the latest update that they just released to me this is the day before I think it's the day before yeah day before launch uh we got some stuff that's changed all right and I want to go through some of it because these are things that I made feedback on and uh Hey, they're in the game now. So what do you know? Hopefully it improves the experience for you guys. Let's uh, let's talk about some of the interface ones. So uh, there's been changes made to up here, which this is just a cosmetic change. It's not really like, I guess it's a different way of looking at it. It didn't, I didn't really, you know, say anything about that before necessarily, but um, different ways to look at this before. But check this out. The directive is here, right? Lohitanga mission. And look, these sites are bigger. You can see them easier now, which is really cool. And then on top of that, the green one, the green one is your mission one. And if you zoom right in on it, you get this arrow that's like pointing at it, telling you, yes, this is the one we're talking about. Okay. That's really cool. Now, the other thing that's really cool is camera control. Oh, it happened. It happened. Hang on. Let me glass killed why are you not on is it you just like legit out of power here what's going on here turn yourself on no no not operative all right well uh i think maybe you need more power i don't know let's just give you more uh, i'm looking for a place to build oh i'm at my building limit i gotta let this go um so notice the building limit has dropped structure limit is now 650 instead of 700 i don't know that's what it is though and uh this one here is now going to increase it by 400 so i guess that means we'll have 10 50 as our building limit soon i don't know i suppose uh, now i have stopped at least i think i have i'm trying to double check this hopefully i have stopped no i did not stop this stop them all i'm hoping to stop all of my ghg factories all my ghg and basically all of my terraforming efforts i want to stop all of it if i can because i think it's going too fast and it may be like the effects might have been sped up on me okay and we're going to talk about that um i don't want to do anything more with biotech right now let's get the mines uh, so we're going to get the mines as the research but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second as to why I'm stopping all of it. At least I'm hoping I am. It may be irreversible at this point. I may be too far to stop this. And that will be really sad and unfortunate because, um, well, I'm starting to notice this. All right. This up here is happening. Like liquid water on Mars, right? So, yeah, that, that that's the thing that's happening. Uh, but I want to also show you something else. Camera controls, right? So before, remember, we would go down like this and I'd be like, I want to, I'd be constantly, you know, always moving the camera around right trying to be like looking at it at different angles and fun angles and stuff and every time you would make a zoom it would like zoom itself up right well now it doesn't do that the camera locks to the angle you have selected so you can zoom in and zoom out and it will keep that angle very nice now it does at a certain point it does tilt up on you because like at a certain point you're just you know what do you want to look out into space for right but when you zoom back in it goes right back to the angle you had which is super cool and to make it even cooler guys you can now go all the way <laughs> we can go south now if we want to now it's time to get lost together and again you can zoom out and it will rotate for you to see it again but as you zoom back in it will rotate you back to south oh uh, it's pretty cool i love it like they actually like listen to that stuff and just implement it into the game they just willed it into existence and that's really cool thank you so much guys wow uh i'm gonna put the solar panel i think probably right here because it's gonna need power this whole area is gonna need power why don't we go like uh right about like that out of do looks like and then i want to get a hyperloop put in from here all the way over to right about here i guess right about there if i can get the hyperloop put in that'd be cool 
Um, now I'm noticing a couple things during the during the update too, though. Um, I'm noticing a little bit of like performance issues right now that didn't quite exist before. Uh, I'm also noticing that the sounds aren't really popping in as well as they used to before too. I'm getting like it's really patchy. Like I couldn't hear any of that. So it's it's a little bit weird. I don't know if it's just on my end or or what. But um, you know, eh. and you know the performance issues. Maybe my 8700K just isn't what it used to be. I have no idea. Um, but like if I go 16 times speed, I'll start getting some pretty sizable, like you see the jitters there. It starts to happen at bigger bases. I think you have to realize that going 16 times speed is just not something you can really do much of anymore, you know? So it doesn't look like I can reverse the effects and that's going to make me so sad because curiosity is over here and I want to go get it. I want to go get it. And I can build this, but like in like, I don't know, 20 more millet bar here, it's going to be underwater and I don't want that. I just know it's going to happen. I can see the water forming on the surface, All right? And like this is the dark area, All right? Look at all this dark area. This stuff's starting to pool up, right? We're getting water now. And, uh, you know, if I go down to curiosity, this is a dark part here. This is the same height. Like any second now, this thing's going to be underwater. And I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. And that's got me really sad, okay? Sad. So I've tried to stop all my terraforming efforts. But I just, I, again, I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think there's really anything I can do. Um, I'm going to upgrade this priority. Upgrade this priority. This priority. Try to get them out here as fast as we can. And, you know... We can get somebody out here to Gale Crater to get Curiosity. That's all I care about. You know, I can get this abandoned water extractor. And yeah, here's the mission site. Thankfully, they didn't put the mission site in a flood zone. Mars has reached a new temperature threshold. No. The planet's temperature is rising steadily. No. That would be something worthy of celebration. No, it's not. not for the problems threatening the colonies. No, it's not. Am I doing a good job? At, at this point, you're doing too good of a job. I actually want you to stop doing your job. I should give myself credit. The mission has been proceeding better than expected. All this water here, it's going to be impossible to get to these resources. Also, why aren't you under... Am I... Is this like a theme with me right now? It is. This is just a theme with me right now. Like the, the whole, oh yeah, you didn't... Uh, once again, you didn't give it power. <laughs> get it done, please. Uh, I, I thought I shut off all my GHG. Didn't I shut off everything? God, if there's still one factory running and I just don't see it, is there any way to tell? Can I like cycle through different plants? This is number two. This is zero, right? Three. How many are there? How many do I have? I have nine factories. Oh my. One, two. These are greenhouse gas. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. These are oxygen. Okay. Two, three, four. Five. Are these all the oxygen? How many do I have there? Four. One two three four oxygen those are gone so let's count all, of, all the ghg factories one two three four i think that's all for that side and then i've got uh five six seven eight nine i've got them all off but it's still going up this is irreversible oh it's just gonna happen on its own now and there's nothing i can do Guys, I'm sad. I don't think we're going to be able to get Curiosity. My favorite thing. I'm going to have to get this in Sandbox just to see what it says. Because I'm pretty sure water's about to form here. Yeah, 259. Uh, it's just going up, man. There's nothing I can do. Average temperature rises. We've, we've, done, we've done all the things, guys. It's too late. We're not going to be able to get Curiosity. I'm sad. I'm trying to I'm trying to build all the things, but uh, at some point we're gonna have to admit defeat. Oh, I'm I'm looking at it, and I want to look at the cute little rover, huh? Look at this thing. Uh, now, one downside for the camera mm, thing. I am most looking forward to. One downside for the camera thing is you can't do like the slow pan with a button anymore. You can do it with a mouse like this though. But like that slow pan that happened when you held E before, it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Liquid water. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Seeing liquid water on Mars. Once the planet has zones with daily temperatures <gasps> no! above zero degrees, 
water will begin to flow. Yeah, water's flooding. Perhaps there it, is. it will flush out the enemies. Oh, it's gonna not happen anymore, guys. We're not gonna be able to put it in there anymore. It's gonna be underwater. Oh, I mean, it's cool that water's forming, but can we, like, get a system in place where you just move the site somewhere else or, like, I don't know. Can there, can there be a way to, like, excavate sites without the drones having to get there? I mean, the, these guys, you know, these guys fly in big blimps. You know what I mean? Like, can I just build it? Well, you can't build it without there being roads, right? Ah, uh, I'm going to miss it, guys. We're not going to be able to get it. But on the plus side, um, looks like this road is actually going up on the high ground. That'll be a pretty sick bridge when it's done, though. Yeah, this is going to count as being underwater now. It says it's in a flood zone. It doesn't say it's underwater yet, but I feel like it's definitely going to, you know. Oh, let's zoom out really quick. Am I getting like a... Oh, look at this. Look at it. And again, this is without any GHG running at all. This is it. Like, I got these all shut off. Wow, these things are getting damaged. What's happening there, huh? Do you have any other structures damaged? Uh, okay, one last thing. All right, and again, I'm not take. I'm not formally. I'm not taking credit for this, but it was something that I, I know. I know members of the team from behind the game have seen these videos, and I have left these. I have left this feedback in the past. I think it's a big improvement, even though it's a really little thing. Although the structures menu does still load very slowly it doesn't scroll the map anymore All right the window is doesn't scroll the map anymore so very cool guys thank you so much for like this is a it's a big it's a big difference in in you know user experience right like it's a big difference having little things like this little things like this is there any way i can reverse it underwater it's officially underwater now folks Ah, uh, well, that's what it is. What it is, it is what it is. But we we are stopping all terraforming efforts right now. I went too fast, and I wasn't I wasn't able to get all the things. We're not gonna be able to get these. So if you're playing this, I recommend taking your time on getting water here. All right, there's a there might be a rush to terraform because it looks cool and you want to see it. Um, speaking of which, where is the, there? It is. Um, it looks cool and you really want to see it right and that's awesome but um, like if you want to get these sites especially the ones that are in flood zones right like old lander and you know this uh, Rosalind Franklin and uh, this Pathfinder right here this is fuzzy it's really fuzzy 290 millibars the text is here we go it's almost like it's just scaling up and not actually rendering at higher resolution. Um, job well done. We are on the right track. There is still so much to do, but we are making progress. Initiate terraforming stage three. Oh, good. Congratulations. The CO2 trapped in the regolith has been freed, releasing the planet's atmosphere. Uh, sorry, increasing. Releasing doesn't make any sense. Increasing the planet's atmosphere and temperature, which in turn have increased the amounts of liquid water. The conditions are right for stage three. Elevate the planet's temperature by reaching one millibar of oxygen. Keep it up. Keep up with the plan and terraform Mars. Humans walking on Mars without <sighs> spacesuits. Imagine that. I hope they will use that freedom wisely. Yes, they will be respectful of the planet. I and doubt my it. Work. So a lot of these structures here. Yes, they will be careful with the second chance. They just need to be reminded to cherish this new home. Otherwise, our work here could be wasted. We got uh, Lieutenant Calderon. Amy, this is Houston. Lieutenant Calderon speaking. Confirm pressure has reached 300 millibars. Yes, it has. Confirming pressure has reached 300 millibars. Yep. Roger. That is completion on stage two. The next stage is ecopoiesis. Concentrate your efforts on reaching at least one millibar of oxygen. We're monitoring your activities around the clock here at Mission Control. We'll be back in touch once you're further along. Houston out. 
Okay, so it's terraforming properly is about a balance. It's not about just raising the numbers as high as you can, right? We want to have a balance. And so now they want me to get one uh, millibar of oxygen. So it looks like all of these roads are done at least. So we've got everything connected to the same grid. And now we have a huge power surplus as a result. That's nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about power for a while. I think these worker hubs to get out to... Oh, poor curiosity. <laughs> it's just going to sit out here now. Um, what about... Can we, can we get anything down here? There's a couple of sites down here I was looking to get. There's an abandoned network base and an abandoned lander down here. It's not curiosity, so it's not as good. <laughs> and um, we got some stuff down here. Weather station. We got a Mars crash site. Um, we got all sorts of water coming in. And this is... This is at one time speed. You see this spreading right now? Like this is fast, okay? So once you get to a certain point and the temperature rising and all that stuff, it's like the point of no return. And you can't stop the beast now. So you can turn off all your machines. It's gonna keep going. But now we need to find the right balance. And that means getting to one millibar of O2. So I'm gonna take and turn on my O2 factories again. Oh, you know what it is? I think the sounds have changed. Not those ones, but I, I think that's why the sounds don't sound like they're coming in. I think it's just they've changed. I wonder, can I turn the sound effects up? Like, uh, music tends to be too loud usually, but I'm gonna turn the sounds back up. Because I like the sounds, man. They're nice. GHG, I don't think I need to do any more GHG. I don't need to release any more CO2. Um, actually, you know, getting other t forms of terraforming might not be a, such a bad idea. We got mines level three going in, and I was gonna do that just so that I could say, hey, let's make sure we get all the mining, or let's let's like stuff like this. I want to make sure I get all the resources from the flood zone as fast as I can, you know. But again, I think there's gonna come a point here really quick where all of that stuff that's in flood flooded areas is just gonna like. We're going to lose this stuff, right? So at some point, we might want to say, hey, you know, it's time to pull this out of here because the game will not allow me to build underwater. So this doesn't count as underwater, but this does. And what in the previous version, so this patch must have solved this too. Uh, in the previous version, there was a lot of instances where I was not able to build in land that had this shading. Because it would say that it's underwater, even though I don't actually see the water in that spot. Now it looks like the water is a, an accurate reflection of what is underwater. So that's underwater, but that is not. This is underwater, but that is not. And so it goes back and forth. And now we get like this ac somewhat accurate representation of where the water is. Right? So that's pretty cool. Because that didn't that wasn't like that before. This iron mine is consistently off. Most likely because it's just out of power range. Let's drop that in there. And so we're raising it up now with oxygen. We got our oxygen producing factories. Our, uh, just these four. I don't think we need any more than that. I, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm trying not to be in a hurry, hurry to do it. But, um, I guess if I want to get all these sites, I probably should shut those off too, right? Is that how it works? I'm not sure that's how it works, to be honest. Let me shut these off. Because I got a feeling, like, this... Again, this process is irreversible. Um, I got a feeling, like, this temperature is just going to keep rising, even if I shut all the machines off anyway. And we're just going to lose the ability to get these. But in the event that we somehow don't... Let's get a water extractor laid in here. See, there's a little... It's just a little bit of lag, right? It, it's There's a performance issue just a little bit. Um... Rosalind, Franklin, and Kajak crash, crash site. I would like to read a little bit about that if I can, but it's a bit out there, you know? I wish there was a way to get these sites without having to build with worker hubs all the way out there. I don't necessarily think you have to power them. Like, you just need to find a way to extend it. So maybe, like, a way to extend the road without, uh, without adding a hub. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I felt like I felt like I was going slow. I mean, maybe I, maybe not. Maybe I was going just 
Oh, hang on. Maybe I was going fast. There's no maintenance here at all. Um, but I felt like I was maybe going... Uh, 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 there it goes. I felt like I was maybe going slow. And, um, and that was why we weren't... Uh, let's go like... Uh, that. We can get this water down here too. And these chemicals. And chemical plant there. And worker hub there. And get some wind farm going on. Uh, over maybe in this region like this. Gotta make sure that other one's in range though. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go like this. And then we got this this site right here for the story, right? So once this maintenance facility is done, we'll drop a... I guess we don't really need the aerological scanners anymore, do we? I mean, I, I guess we need them if for the land that we're on, but... We're not going to need to go way out there anymore, you know? <clears throat> Research post is here. And we're going to let that go. Let them get on this and... Uh, do it as fast as they can. We're going to want to connect this Hyperloop to this one. And once they get that done... Wait, do they have to... They can deliver the resources here, right? They don't have to, like, deliver the resources all the way over here to build that now, do they? Because I started it from that back one, but I don't know if that's the case. No, no, this is the way upgrading. It's already being delivered here. Okay. It looks like it might be, like, a collective thing. So once this is once this hyperloop is built, they can kind of skip this whole road and just get way out there. Yeah, it is building from this way, but it's not one way. It's it's two ways. So eventually, that'll be done, and then they can get out here and do this stuff. Oh, I am saddened. I am saddened that we will not be able to get curiosity. Maybe this abandoned water extractor. This looks like it's in a flooded area. A flood area, though. Maybe we can get research outpost here. It is in a flood zone. So we might want to grab that. Worker hub like this. And yeah, we're going to have to work our way around. Worker hub. Worker hub. And then I'm wondering about like getting a hyperloop out this way too. Not because... Well, the main reason is because we need to feed the research centers that we have. We need to feed them with food. So, like, even, like, with this one done, that's cool. And they're going to hopefully get these buildings going, right? But at the end of the day, they're going to have to deliver food way out this way, too. So, I think in another Hyperloop, at least to, like, here, is probably a decent idea purely for that. They're not that expensive. Compared to, like, all the resources we have, it's not that expensive. So, I'm thinking I'm going to get another one out this way. And then this side will have a worker hub that takes them all the way out like that, straight out there. So they can just go from here to there. And then I think probably, not a spaceport, not a spaceport, get a storage center. Put it right next to this. Place where they can store things. And then, you know what? We could do the storage center here too. As long as it's not in a flood area. That'll do. Let's make sure everything is everything has power. So we're going to go about like, uh, I want to go further this way if possible. This is good. There. And then probably out to like here-ish. And then maybe wind. Is wind okay here? 61%. Eh, it's not great. It could go up and down. The final upgrade for the mines. This will be a big boost to our production. About like that. So if they get all that stuff done, I'm going to go 16 times speed now. We'll see how that goes. But you can see this here, right? Liquid, liquid water in equivalent meters, right? It's just constantly going up. Because the temperature is not going to stop going up either, right? Yeah, it's skipping. It's skipping hard. We got. I'm going to have to slow it down. I want to go at three. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. What is it like when this stuff is, like, cut off? Like, all this stuff is cut off now. 
Everybody should be departing from this research outpost, right? This mine should be scrapped if possible. I don't think they can. All this stuff is underwater now. Oh, no. This army. I need you to retreat. Retreat to the relative safely inland. <laughs> oh, what about my other armies? All oh, my wonderful, my wonderful bots. Get out here. Oh. Yeah, we're getting too much. We're getting so much water now. I think we should just break all this stuff down, right? I mean, we get the resources back if you break it down. Isn't that how this works? If we just... Yeah, there's nobody incoming here. If I scrap this, what happens to the population? Do they... They just... They get, they leave, hopefully, right? Let's just... If I can break these down... Well, this one... Uh, you know... Well... You know what? Maybe... Are you already scrapping? Yeah, they're already scrapping that one. Yeah, this is going to lose power. Let's break these down. I I'm breaking them down because I think maybe we'll get the resources back for that. I I, I don't know if that's, uh, that's going to happen or not. I hope so. As long as the bots can get out there, I don't see why not. This iron mine is exhausted. Thankfully, we got that. This one can stay. As long as we're within power range, let's let's actually leave. How do I stop the scrap? Can I can I ex can I cancel the scrap? Wait wait wait! How do I cancel the scrap? Can I can I not have it scrapped? Is this pending scrap? Okay, you just click it again. Okay, and then like get away from it. So with this being on it'll keep the power on at least for these guys i think we're losing drones too there's a lot of stuff happening right now okay i'm just saying and since we can't avoid it maybe we should just embrace it look, look at all these guys on their way should have had that done a long time ago water extractor uh looks like it's in progress be built but not quite working yet we don't have power out this way even we gotta go like this and then we gotta go like this oh good luck <laughs> good luck Just keeping things powered as it's going underwater we should get a big power farm I think right here just for like the sake of Wow. Oh, wait. Closer to the equator is supposed to be better for wind, right? We should get, a, like, some sort of a power grid thing. I, I wasn't doing the, like, a legit power grid before because I didn't see the merit in it. It was like, you might as well just expand your colony, you know, expand your reach. But now I see the funny side. Now I'm always smiling. Here, we'll put this right here. That should expand our power grid quite a bit. And then, of course, we have power storage, too. And we're just dipping into storage whenever we dip into the negative territory, anyway. And none of our batteries are in a flood zone. You can go. Bye. Okay, so are we getting this done? I gotta get this done, too. I wanna get them into this site, although it's not in a floodplain, so it should be okay regardless. And then I guess, do we just embrace it and get the oxygen? Where'd it go? It's over here. Do we just embrace it and get the oxygen? Cause that is the, like that's the objective currently. Well, the directive is this, but terraforming stage is, is up here. I, I really think, and this is again, it's, it's hindsight at this point, right? I really think you should go slower on the terraforming so that you can get these other things that you want, these structures and these, I mean, maybe we don't need them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter, but I wanted to, I wanted to read up on them and all that stuff. And, you know, I mean, we, we made tons of food. Current production is well in excess of demand. 
We got glass for a, a month. We got steel for a few weeks. We got electronics for a year. <laughs> uh, but the only thing we don't have a huge surplus on right now is aluminum and water. And aluminum, we can get that by... Oh, well, we can't. That's another sector, isn't it? Uh, carbon. Can go right here. This is, doesn't look like it's a flood zone. Let's work our way out this way. Get that aluminum. Might as well connect it with this aluminum too. And then also we get a chemical plant there. Connect that with a worker hub as well. Be out this way. That's good. Get the whole thing connected to a solar farm. And then take a look at maintenance. Probably something like... Yeah, this is fine. Something like this. If I put it out this way, though, then I can maybe get that water, too. Although, I think this is a floodable area, right? No. It doesn't say it is. If it doesn't say it is, then it's not. This is a flood zone. This is not. Okay, so that's going to be flooded. Let's get the silicon mine anyway. Put this down. And put... Uh, power there. No? Okay, how about... How about there? And then... Uh, maintenance. Had a brain fart for a second there. Uh, Alright. So with all of that... Again, it takes forever to build this stuff, but... We could, if we wanted to, just jam another Hyperloop, like, right here so they can get up there and get that stuff faster. If we wanted to. And by if, I mean we will. We're going to put a Hyperloop there. And then maybe we put another one on the other side of this floodplain. It's possible we can connect it with this one once it's done. It's got to it's gotta connect to this. So I'm going to have to wait till that's done. So to get that done, we're going to upgrade this, upgrade this, and upgrade this in priority. So all the priorities now are about getting this operational. And then once the Hyperloop is operational, of course, everything becomes easier to deliver stuff for that way. Yeah, oxygen release. I, I, do we do it? I think we probably do, right? All right, then fine. Let's do it. Let's just embrace it. Come on. Turn them on. There you go. Let's pump oxygen into the, into the air. We're going to raise it up. Currently, we're sitting at... Uh, O2. It says, atmospheric O2 must increase to sustain more complex forms of life. Yep. Then what we want to do... I don't think we need mines level 3. Should we just go all in on, on terraforming? I mean, it's going to take longer, but that's kind of what we were doing, right? We were taking longer to do it. Because we were trying to get all the resources and stuff, so... I'm confused. I don't know what I want to do, you know? Let alone what you want me to do. I don't know what... I don't even know what I want to do. <laughs> I'm like, do I go for the the green lush environment or do I hold back and try to get as many of these little things as I can? I don't I don't know. I know that I don't have power for these facilities. Let's go. Still no power for this stuff. Come on. Build it. They always build the power structures last. Was there water here before? On this spot? Or did we just scan that? I think we just scanned that. Interesting. So there's even more water right here to get. Which we may not be able to get anyway. But see, notice, right? The research outpost. We can finally start building it. And hopefully and we get people out this way. But like, it's going to take forever to get resources there. So... I hesitate to, to build Hyperloops in locations that are going to get flooded. Like, this doesn't going to get flooded. But what I could maybe do is just upgrade the roadways to get all the way out to, like, here. And then at least, at least they can travel faster to get out this way, right? And then we can drop storage. We're going to want to build storage over by the Hyperloop somewhere. Uh, it, could, it could work right here. It says it's a flood zone. Don't want to do that. 
Oh, this whole thing is a oh, the whole thing's a flood zone. Holy cow, this whole thing is going down, man. We're gonna lose so much. Aerological. Um, I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna need to study my surroundings a bit more. So put one there. And I think we're gonna put one over here too. And then we've got some connections to make. So this ought to do, uh, that ought to do. And then for power, we gotta get it hooked up. We're gonna go like that. And like this. Wowzes. Okay, I'm gonna let this run just a little bit more. Building building power lost. All these notifications. New columns to rivals. How are we doing on that, by the way? We've got two ships that are going for it, right? And then if we wanted to, again, we could just do the space mirror array. Do you guys want to see what this is like? Let's just embrace it. Let's just bring the water in, you know? I don't know, like... I don't know what I want to do. What do you guys want to do? I mean, if I if I wanted to, I could have this entire area flooded in a single video, right? Like, we could just... We just cram as much stuff as we can to make the place warmer. I turn on my nine GHG factories right now and just boost this up even more. Right? Greenhouse gases is... is, is <sighs> it's, it's beautiful, but... I want the research sites, right? Right? I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments. What do you want me to do? We don't get we don't get curiosity anymore. We need a way to do underwater research, okay? Haven't you ever seen Subnautica? It's totally possible. Subnautica told me it's possible. Your hub doesn't need done anymore. What are you up to? How am I at such a big power deficit over here? I'm confused. Like, you guys are all in a power zone. You know? Like, you're you're all connected to this grid. Oh, wait. Maybe these two grids aren't connected. These two grids aren't connected. Wait, so how do I get them? Do I have to go like this? Can you only be one or the other? What? Oh, that sucks. I don't think you can connect this to multiple grids. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I had no idea. That was like a total misunderstanding of how this works. So each power grid is, is separated from all these bases? These landing zones have separate power grids? I mean, I, I guess, but... Wait, why not build it? I, I mean, I guess I just I just wish it wasn't that way. <laughs> it makes it makes it makes sense. I guess you're going to have different power plants and they can't connect. I mean, it's like what? It's no different than like prison architect or anything like that, right? Like you're going to got to have separate grids for each thing. But it's just that it makes it weird because this is going to tell me that you know, I have a huge surplus, and yet I still have buildings way over here that have no power at all. So it's, it's just, it's a little misleading in the UI telling me I have power when I don't, you know? It's just weird, but this is now connected. That's built up. And then if we can get that one up, then all of this will work? Question mark? Anybody coming? Okay, we have people here already. That's good. I wonder how long it takes. Is it a structure integrity thing? Or does it just have to fill up once? You know? S to satisfy this. Because I've seen some of these bases. They sit around on these bases for a very long time. Yeah, it needs 2,971 souls. All right, we're going to need some people to come on over here. Just saying. We're going to need some. Wait, what's this red line? Is red line colonist incoming? Colonist incoming. Uh, departing. These are departing colonists. They are flying over the water. We have water on Mars, guys. 
We have water on Mars. Should we just do it? Should we just should we just go all out and just be like, hey, let's just get the water going? You know? Maybe just maybe kind of thing. Are you not connected? Really? Maybe this is the reason the camera always goes up before. So people can see whether it's in the grid, right? Because it's just, it's an overlay. So this, you know, may look like it's in the grid, but it's really not. A certain camera angles kind of thing, right? Yeah. Well. Alright, let's just get another uh another power factory in here. I also think it'd be a good idea. I don't know if this actually works. It doesn't seem like it does. Lichen is crucial to create a bridge from trace amounts of oxygen to the levels needed for more advanced organisms. This will be the beginning of the spread of plant and animal life across Mars. I think it would be a really solid idea though to not require me to make a full-on solar farm or wind farm to connect new buildings if i have a huge cluster of stuff in one area you know like obviously it, you it pays to spread it out because you'll get like you know sandstorm here and then over here and it pays to spread your entire grid out instead of having it all in one spot but it might be cheaper to have it all in one spot and maintained all in one spot and then to have you know have the power travel along the roadways or something, you know? Or, at the very least, if I pop a battery here and it's directly connected to that building, like, why can't this building just use it off the battery? This feeds the battery, the battery feeds the buildings, connected to it, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. Maybe now that I have a platform and I've seen changes happen, I just, I just gotta say whatever I want now. <laughs> now you guys are doing awesome, thank you so much. Uh, this game is a real treat. And uh, for all of you out there, man, thanks for watching. This is, uh, again, it's a real treat. I appreciate you being here with me through it all. I want to say the thick and thin, but honestly, right now, man, this is like, I don't really see a whole lot of thin to this. This is very cool. Uh, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to keep expanding the power grid. I got the Hyperloop grid, you know, system, network, whatever you want to call it kind of connected up they got to build this one yet still they're gonna get it takes a while to get way out here um hopefully there's resources out this way as we get our aerological scanners out we'll start to explore what's all out here on land for us to get it looks like we're probably gonna get some more aluminum sources out this way and then let me know in the comments do we just blitz water and wildlife and trees and all that stuff do we just do we just go ham on that or do we take our time a little bit more and try to get these little, you know, as many of these sites as we can? Let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll uh, certainly hoping to see you next time. It's been awesome. Bye-bye.